I started Splashes of Hope because I was introduced to the hospital environment when my good friend had Hodgkin's disease. Um, he was also in art school at the time and uh, after he passed away, I started painting ceiling tiles for hospitals. Everyone in Splashes of Hope tries to paint murals for kids in hospitals so the kids feel happy when, when they go through all the pain that they get when they have to get needles and all that. I painted a Coney Island scene and it's um, really just to brighten up the day of the children, to give them an opportunity to fantasize or, you know, be happy, just to kind of lighten the mood uh, in recovery and procedure rooms. They figure out what the kids like, like they're going to paint a mural for this one kid and then this one kid tells them what um, they like and then they'll paint a mural of what the kid likes. If they like elephants and there's a picture of an elephant blowing bubbles, then I think the kid would be really happy. When the child has to get a shot, the nurse will ask the child to focus on something else. The ceiling tiles and the murals really seem to be making a difference. There was a, a psychiatric unit where they said that the murals in the calming room reduced the amount of uh, medication that the child needed because they would go into the room and calm down based on the artwork that was painted there. I feel that like it's, it's a good distraction. It provides a nice thing to look at and um, I like to put a lot of detail in my paintings so that way like if somebody is there for a while they can also get lost in the detail. The more detail I feel like the more uh, distractive it is. We've painted so many murals throughout the years. It's occasionally someone will come up to me who I've never met before and they tell me a story of the mural that they saw in the hospital when their child was, was sick and how they would walk through the hallways and that would give them something to talk about that wasn't regarding what's happening in the treatment room. And that'll help the kids know that even though you hurt yourself and you're in the hospitals, you'll be okay as long as you use your imagination.